So our second lesson on uh, media stereotypes, we're looking at uh, ethnicity and youth stereotypes as pushed by the mass media. And in the book we're on page 136. So we're going to learn about these stereotypes, look at three in particular. We're going to understand the effects they may have on the, on the groups that are being stereotyped and to develop thinking skills. Keywords are Asian, Pakistani, Bengali, Indian, Sri Lankan. Retail, Afro-Caribbean, crime, deviance amplification, moral panic, hoodie, stigmatise. So these five groups in Britain are what we call Asians. First remember is <laughs> Asians are not all the same. Pakistanis, Bengalis, Indian, Sri Lankans, Sikhs even, um, they're not all the same. Yet we tend to lump them in as Asians. Retail means uh, shop, shops. Deviance amplification, we mentioned before, the process whereby the media, by going on and on and on about a particular crime, can actually make it worse. They can amplify it. They c can create a moral panic. If you stigmatise a group, you put an, a mark on them. It marks them out as different and uh, it's an unfavourable mark. It's uh, from an old Catholic piece of uh, theology. It's about that more in class. Okay. What does our media say about Asian people? Yeah. Well, two main sources of stereotypes of Asian people. For a long time, Asian people own corner shops. Yeah. They work in retail, they, work, they run shops. More recently, Asian people are terrorists. It's a more recent media stereotype of them. So what effect do these stereotypes have? Yeah, what effects are they? So, well, so people are surprised when they find out that Asian people are anything other than shopkeepers. And people are afraid of uh, Asian youths getting onto buses or tube stations or trains with rucksacks. That's the effect that it has. People suspect them. And how fair is this stereotype? Well, <laughs> really not very. they clearly... The vast majority of Asian people, Asian young men, are not terrorists. For a start, if you are Indian, yeah, you're, not, you're not involved in Islamic terrorism, are you? Because you're, you're not a Muslim. In terms of corner shops, well, even that. This guy lives in Britain these days. This Indian bloke is called Lakshmi Mittal. He's one of the world's richest men. Owns... Lord knows how many companies. Built part of the Olympic Village last year for the Olympics. He built that big curly-whirly statue outside. Lakshmi Mittal. He does not run a corner shop. Let's move on. What are the stereotypes of Afro-Caribbean men, youths in particular? Well, mentioned before, They've all got knives, they're in gangs, they sell drugs, they're all stabbing each other, these are dead people, these people who die in knife crime in London. Here they are, these black kids here, they've got knives, they must be in a gang, they must be carrying off themselves, they must have deserved it. Yeah. So how fair, what's the effect of this? Well people are afraid of young black men, people are afraid of young black men. They're going to rob me. They're going to stab me. And how fair is this? Well, obviously not fair at all. The vast majority of young African men are, do not carry knives and don't rob people. Look like everybody else. They're normal. Then we have youth stereotypes. It's been noticed in the last ooh, maybe 20 years, people have become progressively more and more afraid of young people. The stereotypes of young people are the very similar to the stereotypes of young black men. Look at the red hoodies. They've been, these groups have been stigmatised, key word. They're dangerous. There's even a word for it. Pedophobia. Fear of children. So pedophile is love of children. Pedo means children. So phobia means fear. Pedophobia. 
The effect is very similar to the effect you have on Afro Caribbean men. People are afraid of groups of young people. They cross the road to avoid them. They think they're going to rob them, or at, at best swear at them. And how fair is this? Like everything else, not fair at all. Yeah. You wouldn't be afraid of this group of young men. Yeah. Not all young people are the same. You shouldn't treat them the same based on your media stereotype.